Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I have a fun fold card to show you. It is what I am calling a double front flap fun fold card. So let's change the camera and get started. All right, so the stamp set that I'm going to use today is the B Jolly. It is a cling mount stamp. That means it is red rubber. And I paired it with the Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. It's got your sentiments. And then the paper, the designer series paper that I'm going to use is the Heartwarming Hugs. And this is the double front flap card that I am going to show you how to create. Isn't that fun? Super easy. Let's get started. Okay, so my card base is real red. And that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a mat. And that is our basic white that's four by five and a quarter. And then to create our flaps, you're going to have two pieces. And I did it the same color as my card base, so the real red. One, you're going to cut three and a half by four. And then on the four inch side, you're going to score it at a half an inch so that you end up with a complete square of three and a half by three and a half. And then the other panel that's going to be on the front is cut three by three and a half and on the three and a half inch side you score it at a half an inch so you end up with a piece that is three by three square so the first thing that you're going to do is i have a piece of designer series paper again i took the heartwarming hugs you can use any of the prints mix and match them and this piece right here is cut three and a quarter by three and a quarter we're just going to stick that on that which will be one of our front flaps. Just center that on there. Then I went ahead and I stamped a Merry Hello on basic white from the stamp set Be Jolly. And I'm just going to attach that towards the bottom, kind of wherever you want. Make sure that looks like that is straight. All right, and then I have two pieces of designer series paper, the same pack. These are one inch by four inch, and I'm gonna put them at one at the top and one at the bottom. You can use e either side, but I'm kind of mixing up my prints today. Just wanna make sure that I get that nice and covered. So you're going to put those strips, one at the top, one at the bottom of the white. Make sure that that is straight on there. All right, so that's going to go like that. The first flap that you're going to put on is this one that's going to go on top. It's the smaller of the two. Center it so that you have a little bit of that white kind of showing at the top and bottom about the same distance. Flip that over. Get your liquid glue and glue that in place. Just like that. Just going to hold that for a second. Now I've already went ahead and stamped my little Santa Claus like I have here. But I chose the other image in the set and I put the little bird in his hand and colored that in with the real red blends, the black blends, the smoky slate. Let me see. That is the petal pink for his face and then the bird the same colors. So that's already went ahead. I already went ahead and did that. So that's going to go there. This white piece here is two and three quarters by two and three quarters so that's going to go on this flap right here now you'll have all the measurements down below the video under show more and there's a direct link to my blog post that has the information as well now this is going to go over the top so this one's going to come in and i would just want to make sure that the back one this piece i'm adding looks to be centered with my little one here so that looks good i'm going to flip that over come in with my adhesive or my 
liquid glue here. Fold that down and just kind of hold that in place, just like that. Once that's set pretty good, then I can go ahead and attach it to the card base. We are just about done. That's how quick and easy this card is to go together. Love the quick and easy. All right, flip that. And we're gonna attach that to this card base. Hold that in place. Now for the inside, that's where I use the Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. I did the, let's see, what did I use? Tis the season to be jolly. You could use any of the ones in here, but I'll stick with the one I have already ready to go. Tis the season to be jolly. Now, if you wanted to put, you could put the little bird in the corner on the inside and color him. Maybe I'll do that. You could stamp the Christmas tree. It's a little big, so make sure that you stamp that first before you stamp your sentiment. Same with the sleigh. Or you can use the little bird, which is a little bit smaller, which would give you more. This is the bird, which would give you more room for writing and your sentiment on the inside. So I'm just going to quickly color in my bird here. Love the color with the blends. You don't get any streaks. You can just stick with one color or you can bring in darker. The choice is yours. It's going to do a little bit on its hat. For his beak, all I did was use the dark petal pink. And did a little on his beak there. And then I took the light smoky slate and just kind of go in a little bit. Give a little dimension there to his hat. You can't really see that in the video. And then I didn't stamp my holly jolly. Tis the season. Tis the season to be jolly. That is today's fun fold card. Isn't that super cute? And you can just use up scraps of any of your designer series paper. Love that. So again, that is a double front flap fold. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, click on that bell in the upper right hand corner and you will always know when I go live. That is it for today. If you need any of these supplies, please order from me as I appreciate any and all sales. You click on show more under the video. It will bring you up the link of all the supplies that I use for today's cards. Just click on any of those links and it'll bring you to my online store. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.